Okay, uh, Tupolev 154B for flight gear. Uh, introduction video, we'll just go over the cockpit views, uh, how to navigate between them, uh, some of the little features there, and we'll talk a little bit about the different instruments and the views and just a general location of things. So, a couple things first. You probably see the little red square here, and my recording software doesn't record the mouse cursor itself so I've added this so you can see where my mouse cursor is pointing and what I might be clicking on um, at the top left here you'll see this little widget that shows the mouse button presses as well as the keys being pressed so you can easily follow along with whatever I'm pressing um, so the Tupolev 154 for flake gear here has five cockpit views numbered 1 through 5 so just press the number for the view you want to switch to it so you see the pilot's view is number 1 co-pilot's view is number 2 press number 3 for the navigator view 4 for the overhead view and 5 for the engineering view so very simple to switch to the view you want just press the number um, every view also has a sub view associated with it which allows you to zoom in on uh, important pieces of that particular view. So for example here in the pilot's view it allow you to zoom in on the flight instruments there. The shortcut for that is the back tick key next to the one key. Now if you press and hold that it'll zoom in to the sub view. If you can see it zooms in on our instruments here in the pilot's view. And when you let go it'll zoom back to the normal view. So you can quickly jump in, see the important pieces and go back to the normal view and every view has that. I find the pilot view is the most useful to jump in on my instruments but every view has it. So that's a very nice feature there. So they've done a good job in making it very easy to navigate to the different views, see the important pieces you want to see without having to do a lot of cycling through all the different views or trying to reposition, zoom in on things and so on. So Let's just talk a little about some of the instruments, where some of them are located, and you know, just general layout of each view. So you can see the pilot view here is pretty standard. You got some instruments that should be fairly familiar here. You got your altimeters and speed and your artificial horizon and so on. Uh, you'll notice that since this is a Russian aircraft, everything's in the metric system. So you got your indicated airspeed here in kilometers an hour. Your vertical speed is in meters per second, altimeter in meters. You do have one altimeter here in feet. So you have your altimeter in feet and meters. Everything else should be pretty standard looking. Uh, one instrument you won't probably see elsewhere in a commercial aircraft here is the G-meter. So on this side it shows the actual G-forces and on the other side it shows the angle of attack. This is a neat little instrument and whatever G-forces it encounters, positive or negative, the arrow will stay at the maximum value so you'll see where you had some rough flight there. Um, Copilot view is pretty similar. You know, same instruments. Over here you'll see uh, ground speed again in kilometers an hour. Uh, navigator view, the center console here. You can see it's got oh, down here uh, things for entering stuff into the navigation computer and information about the different legs of flight there. On the left hand side you'll see all the controls for the autopilot and over here on the right this is the controls for the auto throttle. Um, if we look up a little here at the top here is um, for adjusting the stabilizer and um, here you see the thrust gauges for the engines this gauge tells you the position of the stabilizer, uh, flap gauge, 
and uh, let's see overhead panel you know contains switches for turning off and on all the systems and so on I uh, see here your ADF radios I have your ILS radios communication radios uh, it's uh, navigation for aligning your compasses and so on uh, you know, flaps, gear, lights and in the engineering bay you know it's all stuff associated with the engines, power, hydro, fuel so over here you can see stuff for the batteries and generators power selection uh, this is controls for the APU you know engine gauges, thrust, temperature, so on fuel system stuff here hydro stuff uh, controls for starting the engine so that's pretty much it you can see where the major pieces are and that's pretty much it for that you can see they've made it nice and simple to be able to navigate between the views see the important pieces and so on so the next video will discuss the engine start procedure uh, so